नमस्कार गुड एंड टाग गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज मेघराज मधुकर कसालकर फ्रॉम जर्मनी आम्बेर एंड आई एम स्टडिंग माई मास्टर्स कोर्स इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी इंजीनियरिंग इन ओ टी एच एम्बर्ग एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट माई यूनिवर्सिटी ओ टी एच एम्बर्ग एंड माई मास्टर्स कोर्स इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो सो बेसिकली माई यूनिवर्सिटी नेम इज ऑस्ट बायर शे टेक्नीशे होक शूले आम्बेर्ग वाइडन and uh, in english term it's like uh, east bavarian technical university the university was founded in 1994 uh, and before 1994 it was a military base on this place of this university so this university is in amberg uh, amberg is a small city in bayern germany it's a small city which is located on the mountain and that's why the name amberg which is on the mountain my university is actually a public university and that's why uh, there is no tuition fee for this university uh, all the fundings and the financial supports for the studies the students studies is done through the federal government of germany and uh, this is one of the reason why germany becomes a great reason to obtain the higher education so not just the higher education in my university all the courses are Uh, for zero tuition fees OTH Hamburg is a university of applied science and as the definition is uh, in this university practical applications the applied applications are taught uh, on a very high level so for example if a student has studied mechanical engineering from india then he or she knows all the theory and engineering principles about his uh, uh, engineering so example uh, i've done mechanical from india so i know all the concepts and theory about mechanical engineering but the actual application always involves a different approach for example the software the physical machine handling uh, and there are many many different uh, parameters that one needs to consider when it comes to practical applications of the theory that we have already learned this is exactly what it is taught in the university of applied science so basically oth hamburg is a university of applied science now let's start with the uh, master's course my master's course international energy engineering so from now i'll uh, say i w e instead of international energy engineering okay my course master's course i w e is a 1.5 years course uh, but for all the indian students explicitly uh, who have done the bachelor's in india the duration is 2 years so the reason is the german education system so the german education system considers the indian bachelor students to have only to only have uh, 180 european credits during the bachelor's uh, and for the admission 210 european credits are required so basically to cover up the 30 credits the a uh, one extra semester which is called as a bridge semester is added in the start of the master's course for this season the master's course for all the indian students is two years of four semester and the first semester is the bridge semester which is more or less like a revision semester to all the indian students so apart from all the indian students for or all the other students uh, the master's course is for 1.5 years the bridge semester is what i have done in my previous semester and now i am in my first semester of my international energy engineering the course content of the iwe is actually very vast so i have this ppt and i'll be posting the link of this ppt on the description in the description and within the ppt you will find all the links which i'll post which i have already posted in the ppt so the course the course content one can find the course content uh, on this dwad website it's a database of german indo collaboration and uh, it has all the universities apart from oth hamburg it also has other universities also so for in this link you'll find explicitly about oth amber garden and that to the iwe course but uh, in a glimpse it's according to me it's a pure renewable energy engineering course the main renewable energy technologies that the course is dealing with is solar energy wind bioenergy hydrogen and hydropower is the uh, these uh five topics are the main engineering uh, renewable energy engineering topics that the course deals with apart from these renewables uh the course also deals with energy management energy utilization energy storage efficient use of energy and advanced advanced energy engineering concepts such as 
combined heat powers and etc than any more in germany the motivation to to produce and to generate renewable energy is very high and renewable energy is practiced on a different level in germany and that's why energy production is very high but it has now become a problem that we need to store energy we need to utilize and manage the energy properly so basically uh, in this course along with the technologies the different renewable technologies the energy management about the overall development the overall uh, concept of the energy management energy storage efficiency uh, are also in the course content since it's the university of applied science as, as i've already told we get uh, hands on experience directly with the machines and devices uh, renewable energy devices for example uh, the solar panel uh, mini thermal mini power plants thermal engines wind turbines etc so in the previous semester i was in my 8th semester and i had the subject laboratory courses uh, and in which i was given uh, our experiment to read and to perform the experiment by my by myself so i had this opportunity to uh, work on work with the solar panels so this is one of the experiment there are many there were many different experiment of process engineering etc so along with the machines uh, there are different softwares such as polysen advanced excel modlica and there are different sort of these are the softwares which i am currently learning i am in my first semester of iid valley and i am currently learning these softwares now but in the next semester my next coming semesters uh, many softwares will be taught according to me overall uh, the overall training it's the overall training in the field of renewable energy production utilization and proper management of the energy so that's why in many of our previous video i was telling that uti jamak is a great opportunity so basically uh, yeah so this is energy international energy engineering so thank you so much this was all about for today's video it's about the introduction about my university oti chambag and my course international energy engineering so that's all for today i hope it was helpful and uh, uh, useful and informative to you in some or other way and this was actually the part 1 which i have done today and the part 2 will be dealing with um, uh, the admission process and the mistakes that i have done and that you should shouldn't do for odia jamba again this also applies to other universities also so i uh, if it was helpful and useful and informative to share and do encourage by liking and uh, share it with your friends too uh so yeah feel and dang for your air wet for the side means thank you so much for your precious time uh dhanyawad jai hind